हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम टू मिनी के चैप्टर 3 टाइम टुडे वीडियो विल बी अबाउट हाउ यू कैन डेवलप अ सिंपल एंड स्विच यू टाइप क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर गेम सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड आई विल जस्ट हिट प्ले एंड शो यू व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डेवलप स्मार्ट या सो यू कैन सी ऑन माय गेम विंडो इज दैट व्हाट वी हैव हियर इज अ क्वेश्चन फॉर व्हाट इज द कैपिटल ऑफ इंडिया एंड वी हैव फोर ऑप्शंस टू चूज विद सो इफ यू सेलेक्ट एनी ऑफ द आंसर एंड इफ दैट आंसर इज करेक्ट यू आर गोना गेट the score and if the question is wrong you'll get a feedback that what was the answer of that question previously asked and you will not increase your score so let's get started but before starting this video i'm going to tell you that i'm going to write down the whole bunch of code because i'm just going to explain you today what code i have written while developing this what are the logic behind and what i was thinking when i was developing this code so let's get started so in my hierarchy you can see that i have a parent group on which i have a game manager attached and this all references that i have here don't worry it look big but it is not i just open the code and i'll explain you double click and i'll open the game manager script for me so this is my game manager script what i was thinking while developing this game was how i can develop a simple mcq type question how it will be how incremental it will be incremental means that i want to increase the number of question it will automatically show on my screen so the first and foremost thing i thought that to make a class which will contain all the details about the question the answer what was the correct output what was the wrong answer the scores and all that So in this class, the class that I have here is game details class. This get sorry, this details class contains a string called questions. So a question which we are going to display on the screen will be a string. Then we have a list of answer string. So answer string is the option that we are going to provide the user with, and the string of correct answer. This correct answer string is as the name itself says that it is the correct answer, and it's going to match with the option that the user have selected. So this is our a detail. This is the detail class. Detail class. And at the top, what we have here is we have few references. So in the reference, we have. a uh, text called question text then we have a text called answer text then we have a feedback text the feedback that is going to be displayed if the question answer is wrong then we have a score text where the score will be displayed then we have a current counter now why current counter is required i'll tell you later when i'll explain the logic behind this code we have a score the initial score then we have a list of option text then toggle group why i use toggle group here i'll also explain that and i'll go to the logic then we have a toggle list okay this is also there i'll explain you this one as well and then we have a reference of our class that we have declared at the bottom this so i have a list of that game detail class now we want to assign the values right so i have a function called assign function assign input and there we have toggle so the toggle you see here this one this toggle we need to keep them on and off and if you you want to select just one toggle at a time so we have written this for each function so that it is off while assigning the values because when we click submit and the next question appears it should be off right then we have current counter the current counter is a counter that counts on which question we are so so for starts with 0 to whatever the list value of your list i mean index of your list so we have this question text and i have assigned current counter the list of game details the up we have declared it here and the index is the counter value so the counter value is 0 the question 
which it will take is the zero question, right? And the option text. The option text as written here, this is the option text, the list of option text. So this text is the text where it be going to provide the option to the user that what will be the correct answer. So we have provided with the current counter information and we have assigned the user with sorry we have assigned the value of zero to the option text of zero. So whenever if I show you here whenever user counter is on zero. So if the user's counter is zero, this is the zeroth index, right? So if the user counter is zero, the question that it will take is the zeroth question of this. The question text will be this one. So this is the zeroth question text. So it will show what is the capital of India. Now if we see option text, we are provided with the user with option text. These are the option text and what values it will take. We have this option text here, toggle label. I have used toggle for that and the label text values I have assigned to the option text. So it will display the option that we are going to provide the, the answer with or the user with the answer. Then now this this text element zero zero text it will contain the information of current counter. Now my current counter is zero and then assign answer string so assign answer string this is zero. So new del will, will be the first option of this toggle. The same way you can assign these values here. Now this is regarding the information that we are going to fill in our inspector. So you understand that how we are implementing the counter. First and foremost thing I'm, I'm explaining you once again that this is the counter. Uh, if the counter is 0, it is going to take the question 0. If the counter is 1, it will take the question 1. And in the same way, the option text will be filled. Yeah. Now we are going to check the correct answer. Now we are done with the filling of data. So now if we say that if the toggle is on and the toggle get component dot text is the list of counter and correct answer. So if the toggle is on and the text of that toggle is equal to the counter that is if it is zero the list of game details zero answer then the score will increase otherwise or will not increase. There are a set of debug, debugs that I have applied here. So the score will increase only if the toggle is on and the text in that toggle is equal to the correct answer that we have set. Else we need to show the feedback. So in the feedback section what are we going to show is if the toggle is on and the list of game details correct answer is not equal to the text in the toggle then we are going to show the correct answer feedback so we have the feedback section here let me let me manage it there so this is the feedback now i have told you that if toggle is on and the text in the toggle is not equal to the list of game details current counter correct answer then we'll have to then we are going to show the feedback and the feedback is the correct answer so these were the two logic that I have implemented. If your class system is correct and you know what you are exactly doing, then things becomes very easy. You don't have to worry about all this that this is wrong and I'm going in the wrong direction. Now on click OK. This on click OK is my submit button. I have this function applied here. Submit button. This is my submit button. So I have this function applied here. Okay. So whenever I click on this button, the current counter increases. Now, if what 
what happens with the current pointer is zero. I have my current index is zero. Then I'll click the answer, and whenever I submit the, this answer, my current counter will increase, and from zero it will become one, and they, then the assigning of these values will take place. Like what will the what will be the question of uh, index one? And similarly, the options will be filled. So this is how it goes. If you want to add a new question to it, this is a submit button, and I have this function called. Yeah, we were talking about how we can increase the number of questions if you want. You simply have to go to this. Now you have the size of this list as four. Suppose I have five. And I hit enter. Then I get another question here. You can write so what is the question that uh, I say what is the capital of, of Germany? So let me say what's the capital of Germany? I don't know what is the capital of Germany. You can only find it out. You will say this is X, this is Y, this is Z. And you say that the answer is Y. So the, the fourth element is A. This one. And you say that the answer is A. You just save it, hit play. So first question was what is the capital of India? It's New Delhi. Second was Washington DC. Third was Islamabad. And the first one was say Colombo. And the fifth question that we have just given. You see this question? And the answer was suppose the answer we can see is A, but we're gonna take on Z. And when we submit, the correct answer was A. So this is how you can increment this. So this was a simple script that you can make to have a simple MCQ type question. Comment down if you have any questions. And you li really like the video, like and subscribe my channel. You can also support me on Patreon. Links are in the description below. If you haven't watched my earlier video, you can watch it down. The links are in the description. And I also have a series of camera movement, camera information script. Then I have a shader graphs also explained in this video tutorial. So get down, check that out. And I'll see you in the next video. Comment down if you want any other help. See ya, be safe. Thank you.